Hey guys, it's Derek and welcome back to another video and in today's video I've commandeered our other daughter's bedroom because it just happens to be the place with the greatest light. So in today's video we're going to unbox what's in this package. Now this package I've been waiting for for a number of weeks now and when I open it up, ta-da! It's the new Apple Watch Series 7. The best thing about this new watch is the fact that I didn't have to pay for it. In fact, I used the loyalty points from my cellular carrier, thanks Telstra, and got this, and it is worth $799. So today I'm gonna to unbox it and check it out. I have the old Apple Watch Series 3. It's a good watch, but it's lacking a few of the features. I believe that the battery time on the new watch is pretty much the same, but it's got a lot more features. It's got always on, ECG, it's got pox oximetry, and it's just basically more up to date with all its latest features. So this is the cute little package it comes in, and you just open that, just open that, and two things slide out. So there's the package there, this is the watch band, and I got the stainless steel Starlight, actually. It's called Starlight Aluminium Case with a Starlight Sports Band. So that's the sports band, and that is my new watch. So I got the 45 millimeter. There's a 41-ish millimeter one, which is smaller. I have fairly big wrists and I like a big chunky watch. So that's why I got the biggest one. And this one also comes with cellular function. So basically I'm already paying, I think it's $5 a month for cellular access on this watch. And you can tell because it's got the red thing on the crown. And basically what that means is that you still have access to the internet when you're not near your iPhone. Whether that's an important feature, I probably, if I had to pay for this new watch, I probably wouldn't get it and I'd just get the Wi-Fi only one. But the fact that it came free and there was actually no choice to get it without cellular, the number of times that I can remember that I needed to do any of this stuff without my iPhone has probably been approximately zero times. So it doesn't really bother me that much, but the fact that it's there, it's there. And that's a good thing. Just like if I was to buy an iPad, I wouldn't get it with the cellular version because it does cost extra and I think it's a unnecessary expense for my particular situation. But as I said, this one was free, so let's just get on with the unboxing. And now it's starting to rain outside. It's been really hot today, so a little bit of rain is very welcome. Now it's got these little stickers which I'm just going to pull down like that. And hopefully the watch will come out. So the feel is premium. It comes with a watch and this separate bit over here. I don't know what's in there, so I'm going to open that bit first. So it says, designed by Apple in California, and it's got all this stuff. So it basically just tells you how to put the watch band on. USB connection charging cable, which is the wireless version, and here comes the rain. And it's the same one pretty much as all the other watches. And here it is, my new little baby. It's a 45 millimeter. Apple Watch and it looks so cool when it's by itself without the watch band. When I open the watch band box as well, like that, and how does this open? This doesn't open as easy as the watch because I think I've done something to it. Oh, and it opens like that. And it slides out. And here is the new Starlight Apple Watch Band. It comes in two sizes. There's a small medium, actually, and this one is the medium large. If you've got humongous wrists, you can actually get the large, extra large one, which I don't think I'll need, but I'll pop them on later. And what I'll do first off is I'll actually set up the Apple Watch. To set up the Apple Watch, you're gonna need to have your iPhone. Bye bye Apple Watch, and you've been good to me, but I'm gonna replace you now because you're a little bit old and I may actually hand you down to somebody else so they can get good use out of this watch as well. So basically removing the watch from the your case, and unfortunately I've had to break the case, but the little wrapper thing, but here it is. That's the new Apple Watch. I am going to, if you press the button, with all these devices, they're not going to come fully charged in the box and it may well be that I have to charge this for a little while before I can set up most of it. But if you have a look at the shape of it, it's roughly the same size. It may be slightly bigger than my other watch. I may actually take the old watch off. 
and if you have a look at the face it's probably a little bit bigger the red crown thing is a little bit different on the new one compared to the old one and looks like you've got kind of more sensors on the back but pretty much it's a very similar looking watch it's very beautiful and I'm going to try and set it up now so it says attach watch band we don't need that now I might actually for the first time use these instructions it says open your box open your band box no that's the wrong instructions already it's basically put on your Apple Watch, press and hold the side button to turn it on. So basically, there's only one side button. This is the crown. I'm going to hold, press and hold to turn it on. And let's see how long that takes to turn on. And nothing is happening. So, what that suggests to me is that this thing either doesn't work, which is highly unlikely, or it is completely out of battery. And I'm going to have to put this in the charger. I'm going to grab a portable charger and put this on. So give me one minute, I'll be back. So I'm back, I've got this trusty battery pack and I'm gonna plug this in. And notice for the first time that this cable was actually USB-C and not USB like the regular USB-A. So just be aware that it's not gonna fit on your old power bricks, it'll fit on the new power bricks. I'm just gonna put my watch on there, with the magnet charger like that, and it's turned on. So basically it just means that there was no battery on this watch when it came. We now have the Apple logo that's on here and just gonna wait till it boots up. And now there's a little Apple watch symbol. It says something in a different language. It comes in all the different languages. So I'm gonna pick English. The region we're gonna change to and it's setting it up. And it says open the Apple watch app on the phone and tap to start pairing. And it says Use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. Now, I don't know if it'll do that because there is another watch that's already paired to this phone. So I'm going to click continue and see what happens. It says set up your Apple Watch set up for myself. Yeah, because it's all mine. And position Apple Watch in the frame. So I'm going to click start pairing. It may not work purely because because it thinks there's already an Apple Watch attached to this thing. So because I can't pair, that's what I expected. So the first thing I'm going to do now is remove the Apple Watch from this app. So if you go back to the watch, you see your watch. So that's the Derek's Apple Watch that was there before. And then I'm going to unpair it. So you get this option where it says unpair Apple Watch. So I'm going to press that and I'm going to unpair. And then it says here, do you want to remove your mobile data plan? from this Apple Watch. Removing will not cancel your subscription. Contact your service provider if you want to cancel. This cannot be undone. So give me a minute. I need to look in this before I get any further. So this might not end up in the final cut of this video, but apparently you can set up two Apple Watches on the same phone. We can see if we can add a watch. Hang on, it goes back. It says, there's an option to add watch, which says add another watch for yourself. Yay. So I can do that. And it's going to be set up for myself and then going to try and pair a second one. Position Apple Watch in the frame. And then it's going to. It says unable. Make sure this watch is powered on and is not paired with another phone. So it says unable to connect. So, first hassle, first hiccup, first obstacle, but we don't give up that easily. So, we're just going to find out what's happening and I'll be back in a minute. I've actually gone ahead and restarted the Apple Watch and it's going through this whole resetting business. This is actually not a bad thing because if I'm having trouble setting this watch up, it just means that other people will be having the same issue and it actually I think will help because if everything goes smoothly for me then you wonder how come it's so hard for me to do it if this other dude on YouTube can do it so it's actually a good thing that I have trouble because it just means that I can flag some of this stuff and I can help you hopefully go through it so it makes your process of setting up your Apple Watch a little bit easier than mine. So unfortunately now because I've reset the watch we have to go through that whole clock cycle thingy over there and it's going to take a while so I'm going to have to wait till that finishes before I come back and shoot this video and in the meantime there's a giant thunderstorm that's coming so if you hear some thunder you see some lightning that's normal for this time of year here in Sydney. So now we're back and it's asking us to set up the watch again so I'm going back to English I'm choosing Australia again. It says setting language, so we got to that far last time. And it says open the Apple Watch and start pairing. So I tick start pairing. This is way better. It actually says something this time. And it has this weird earthy, flashy thing. 
Oh, it's gone, but it's got that. So I'm just following the instructions of that. So when you open the app, it says Apple Watch, and then you're going to continue, and then I'm going to add watch. And now it's not letting me add my watch. So let me go back for a minute. So I'm going back, it says add watch. And now it's not letting me add a watch. So I'm going to close the Apple Watch app. See, as I said, this is great because this isn't working straight away. And it's actually going to help you because when you set up your watch, you might come across the exact same problems as me. So I've got to all watch, add watch. There you go. And then I've just, all I've done is restarted the app. So I'm going to set up for myself. And I'm going to position the frame now. It's got that weird earthy thing. So I'm just going to go that like that. And it's kind of I'm going to stand up for a minute. It says a software update is available for this Apple Watch. Update now to continue setup. So I'm going to have to update. See, software update. So now I'm going to wait. We're going to wait again. So we'll be back again when this is done, which hopefully will be soon because it's already half past three in the afternoon nearly. And I've got other stuff to do. And now it says activating Apple Watch. This may take a few minutes. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. And it's now doing a software update. So it's 372 megabytes. And it says it's now downloading to the watch. Apple Watch OS 8.3 has a number of different issues. You can read through that. I'm not going to read through that with you. But anything is going to be more advanced than my current Apple Watch Series 3. Just stretching my neck for a minute. Did you hear the crack? So this is going to take a lot longer than it thinks. It says estimated time remaining 38 minutes. So we'll be back when this is ready. Oh, it's gone up to 42 minutes now. I don't know why, but it's taking a long time. I'll be back. Because now it says 46 minutes. I might go have a cup of tea and do something else. So it's been about half an hour later. We're nearly there. I've just had a banana. I've built four shelves. It's still preparing, but it's nearly at the end. So whilst we're waiting, I just want to invite you to like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. It's still going. So the preparation is done. Now it has to install. So that's going to be another 2,000 hours. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Not going to be 2,000 hours. I'm agreeing to the terms and conditions. Is now verifying. More like terrifying if it's going to be another hour before this goes any further. This could be the longest YouTube video of all time. If it takes that long to start installing this update and... We're not getting very far with this video yet, are we? Good news, it's an hour and 10 minutes pretty much since we started the installation and we're back to the setup page where we can choose our language and our watch, where we live, which is, again, Australia haven't moved the last two times. They asked me this question today and now it says start pairing. What is going on with this situation? Now it says the Apple Watch is paired, so let's not panic for a minute. I'm going to set up as a new Apple Watch. On which wrist do you wear your Apple Watch? On my left. Activating your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. I thought we activated it before. How long is a moment actually? Is it 3 seconds? Is it 30 seconds? Is it 1 hour? Sometimes when you're installing updates to your phone just before you go to work when it says it will update in a moment and it ends up taking 3 hours and then you don't get to use your phone for the first 2 hours of work when people need to get hold of you. So important lesson that I've learned is never update your phone just before you go out because it's never ready by the time you do go out. Anyway, that's just another service announcement. So this moment, I'm having a moment waiting for this moment. Now ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Houston we have a problem. All of a sudden my phone says unpairing Apple Watch. It's gone back to this screen. The watch has gone back to the where do you live thing again. And when I try and add a watch and say set up for myself, it's going to ask to repair and start again. And now the watch isn't letting me start again. So what on earth is happening right now? So I'm now going to have to restore the watch back to factory default again 
So this is now an hour and 20 minutes into setting up this Apple Watch and this is kind of starting to suck a little bit. So here we go. I've reset it and then now it's starting again and this is starting to really bug me. I live in Australia for the fourth time. It says position Apple Watch start pairing. Getting ready to pair. This could take several minutes. Let's give it another whirl, shall we? Stand up because it makes all the difference if you stand up to this thing. And then what says? Okay, it says software update is available. No chance I'm going to do that. Skip the update. Now it says your Apple Watch is paired. Set up as new Apple Watch. Continue wrist preference, which is left. I said that last time. And now it says connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. I'm pretty close to not wanting to set up this Apple Watch right now. Let's see how long it gets stuck on that screen. It is currently 4.22 and I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, oh, it's got to a new bit where it says you can sign in with your Apple ID. That's interesting. Haven't gotten this far so far in this video. And shared settings, okay. We are actually getting somewhere. I'm gonna create a passcode which is the passcode I'm about to enter now. You don't get to see that. I'm gonna cover it up. You don't get to see my passcode. Blood oxygen, we can enable and continue. When it says keep your Apple Watch up to date, we'll continue, see what happens. Now it's stuck on that screen. Now Apple Pay, we'll set up the Apple Pay later because I don't have my credit cards with me. When your watch is not connected, you can continue to make and receive calls. To enable mode, add your to your existing iPhone mobile plan. We'll do that later. Always on display. We'll continue. Install available apps. We'll say install all with a grid view. Now Apple Watch is syncing. One thing I need to find out is I need to get rid of the Apple Watch plan with the old watch and set up with a new one so I don't get charged twice. So I need to figure that out. So after this horrendously long and boring setup with this watch. I'm going to customize it. I'm going to set up the watch face that I want. I'm going to set up Apple Pay. I'm going to set up the eSIM thingy. Mess around with it a little bit more. I want to check out the ECG app and the Pulse Ox app, which may not end up making in this video because I'm running out of memory on this SD card because it's taking so long and it may be on an additional video. We'll see. But the bottom line is, if you're having trouble setting up tech, you need to be patient, you can't get annoyed with stuff, go away and if you need to come back in a little bit to try again because it's frustrating sitting here. Google is your friend when it comes to trying to find other people who've had the same problems. You can check out communities, forums and just posts on people's blogs etc which may give you answers as to why your setup is failing. Again, let me know in the comments below if you've had any trouble setting up your Apple Watch, especially when it's your second Apple Watch. And I'll look forward to posting another video soon and we'll just keep going here and see what happens. It's 4.35 and finally, the watch has a watch face. Hang on. Has a watch face. What we do now is I'm going to put on the watch bands. Give me a second. I'm just going to do it quickly because I'm running out of room on this SD card. So I'm not going to film it. So this is how the watch fits on my arm. I need to go to my Telstra logon and set up my one number thing. And basically I think it's allowing me to connect to a new Apple Watch by removing the other old Apple Watch. And it looks like we should be okay to go when it says activating. Hopefully that's it for that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up the pulse oximetry and the ECGs. And you have to install that apparently. So $5 a month, it's connected. So now you can set up your ECG on your Apple Watch. So I'm going to click setup. It's going to ask you a whole heap of information which I'll enter. And it tells you what the ECG thing can't detect, which we know all about it. So I'm going to follow the instructions. You're going to open the app on your watch. And I'll be holding my finger on the crown now. And I'm in sinus rhythm. So go ahead and play with your Apple Watch. Enjoy it. Install some new apps. See how you go. I've run out of room on this SD card. I may make another video soon about some of the other features. But in the meantime, have fun. See you later. Bye.